Hey guys, I'd just like to say a big thank you to everybody that ended up voting for Left Alone on Steam Greenlight, because we eventually got the game greenlit. So again, thanks to everybody that voted. Re we really appreciate the votes that you've given and the support that you've shown with all the comments and everything. So again, hopefully we can make this game good and everybody who's looking forward to playing it can have a really good time. So moving on from there is we're going to look into the next part of the survival series so this is going to be a fo continuation or a follow-on from what i did last time which was showing you a very 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 basic um sort of really basic fishing mechanic so if you remember last time that we had this square that would move to these um pink boxes now i've only made them pink so um you could see them because I, I deleted the mesh renderer last time so if i play the game you'll notice that that box moves towards the random points but doesn't really look like a fish and i did say in the comments in the last tutorial that i'd show you how to make something a little bit more advanced with a couple of code tweaks and bring in your own model so what i've done is i've modeled something um a quick basic fish I've rigged it and I've animated it just to move the sort of um, the tail fin around so it looks like it's moving or swimming so all we're gonna do is that when you go inside the pack which you can download from our website on the survival series link what we can do is we can import a new asset what we're going to do is import fish at swim and fish at swim is just going to be the model of the fish with the rigged animation so what I usually like to do is dependent on what you want this to be but I'm going to scale this up so if you click on the actual fish at swim scale it up to 0.02 and then just click apply and then on the rig settings it'll be on generic if you switch that to legacy um, we can use the old legacy animation system so then what we can do from there is we can just drag that fish into our scene so uh, what I'll do is actually delete the old script and the old box really it's just a basic model it's got not got any textures on it so it can be up to you if you want to do something similar or edit the thing however you like but what uh, um, goes on here is that we've got the fish model and it's gonna have an animation and we can see the animation if I show you the swim animation down here I'll have to pull it up for you, for you to preview and then if I press play you'll notice that within the editor it does a simple sort of animation so what we can do from there is like how we added to the um, box we'll grab the fish model over on this side and we'll just add fish movement to this now what we can do is we can change the size so however many um, objects they're going to be able to move to you can add that to um, 4 and then what we'll do is we'll just quickly drag the destinations that we've got into the inspector slots for this model specifically and now what you'll notice is that if we play it there'll be some issues with everything that's going on it'll play the animation it'll move pretty fast and it's sort of not doing something very realistic at all so we're going to need to sort out the animation so it loops all the time and it actually looks towards the destination that it's moving um, as I said towards so what we'll do is we'll open up fish movements in mono develop and now once that's open we're going to do a few basic things what we're going to do is we're going to start off by writing a function start two brackets then two curly brackets below and now we're going to reference our animation and tell it to loop so what we're going to say we're going to say animation dot play open brackets then in quotes the animation name which is swim add a semicolon to that then we're going to say animation and then we're going to have two square brackets and within the square brackets we're going to name the animation so I can, you can add two quotes then we can add swim in there again and we can say dot wrap mode equals capital wrap mode dot loop and then for the sake of this we thought I might have that you might think mm, the animation might be slow might be fast it's a little bit slow when we viewed it in the editor so what we can say is animation and in the same way if we add the two square brackets and then call the animation within that we'll say dot speed 
is equal to 2. So it'll speed up the animation by 2. You can decrease it, you can put 0 0.5, so that'll be half as fast as the original animation. Or you can add it something ridiculous, 5, so it could be swimming really fast. It's dependent on how really you want this to work and how close to the objects it might be. So this is going to control our animation. So now if we go back in here and then we press play, you'll notice that the fish is always playing its animation now and it's just looping forever. What we could also do is on the actual script itself we could make the speed um, go down to about a 2. And so then it's not so crazy and it doesn't move as quick. And it's going to be a, it's, yeah, it looks a bit weird on top of the sort of floating around in the air, but maybe if you had it in the water, it'd look a bit better. But as I said, we want it to look towards the target so it doesn't look like it's moving sideways or moving backwards and very unrealistic. So what we can do underneath the line we've got, which is transformed up position, I'm talking about the vector three move forward. What we can actually do is say transform dot look at and then in brackets we can write new target so what this means is that it's gonna transform and look at so transform just means it's gonna adjust the movement or it's just the um, just the transform value so when we speak of transform values it means the transform values in unity you, sh you can set its position you can set its rotation so it's gonna adjust those and it's gonna look at the new target and the new target is a target of which we found randomly when we're using or we talked about last time within the um, array so if I save this out and we now press play you'll notice that the fish now swims towards the random target looking the correct way because then it's actually slightly more realistic than it just sort of swimming sideways or swimming in a, a sort of weird direction now again it's not 100% perfect because it's still a little bit of a sharp maneuver like I said that you might want to look into using a, a lerp um, sort of function or something like that to make it seem like it's a much more smooth when it changes its angles you could obviously add more um, position boxes so there's not so many for it, not so sort of jagged movements between each but because it always searches for a random target it's going to look a little bit like that. Now we need to make sure that it's tagged as fish, so the object on it. And you might want to also make sure that you've got um, physics and a box collider on your fish. And then what we can do is within the game, you can see it there. And we want to be able to pick up and then we can grab that fish and it'll go into our inventory like we showed in the last video. So again, it's a really, really, really simplistic way to actually make a fish. So all it is is a simple model with a simple animation of it, you know, basically swimming. And then all we did was add a couple of things to the script, making sure that the animation loops, changing the speed of it if you want to, um, changing the speed of the actual movement itself, and then adding that simple lining to make sure that it looks at the target that we're finding. So then it adds a a touch more realism to the whole thing so again I'll provide this model and um, all you need to do is import that into unity and I'll put that on my website I hope that helped everybody out so stay tuned for some more survival tutorials so again thanks very much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers